now we are going to look at the concept of a digraph or a directed graph okay so we are going to simply see how it is different from a graph so i am just going to copy this definition of graph and tell you what are the things that change over here okay so i'm pasting it over here and i am going to say it is an ordered pair v comma e where v is the set of vertices and e is the set of directed edges okay set of directed edges called arcs okay where a directed edge is simply a line simply a line connecting two edges and having a direction okay and having a direction so this is what a arc looks like so arc is simply a line connecting two edges and having a direction so how do you define direction define direction with the help of an arc with the help of an arrow head okay indicated by a arrow head so let's take an example let us suppose i have couple of vertices okay like this and my directed graph is going to be having vertices and arcs so this is a arc like this uh arc like this we have already seen digraphs right in relations so this is the same concept let us suppose we have a arc like this a arc like this and a arc like this so this is your digraph okay where you have vertices v1 v2 v3 v4 okay and arcs or edges which are like e41 okay e34 from 3 to 4 right e32 from 3 to 2 e21 from 2 to 1 and e13 okay so this is your digraph over here let us understand some concepts so what i'm going to tell you is here we say that e21 is incident out of v2 okay okay just like we had the concept of incidence in my graph for a directed graph we have a concept of incident out of and incident into so i am going to say e21 is incident out of v2 and e21 is incident into v1 okay and we also have what is known as the in degree and out degree of a vertex wherein in a simple graph or in a undirected graph we had the concept of the degree of a vertex in a directed graph we have the concept of in degree and out degree of a vertex in degree of a vertex